Bachi's house was shown several times in the anime. But have you ever wondered what her house looks like? Let's take a closer look at its appearance, and perhaps she will be inspired to build a similar house. To start off, we need to see what her house looks like from the front and work our way to create the full layout of her house. Her house was first shown in Bachi the Rock opening scene. From this, we can actually see that she lives in a housing complex because all the houses look exactly the same. We could get a better view of the front of her house when Kida and Najika paid Bachi a visit. Her house had one door and one window on the first floor, along with one window on the second floor. Actually, there is another window on second floor, but it was covered with the banner. When they went inside, we could see Bachi standing in the hallway, greeting them with outrageous outfit. The hallway was dark when Bachi greeted them, but if we refer to the second episode, when the hallway was well lit, we can see a door on the left, two doors on the right, and a room covered with curtains at the end of the hallway. There's also a staircase on the right. So, if we think about it, the first floor of Bachi's house would probably look like this. Before we figure out what each room is, let's go up to the second floor first so we don't keep Kida and Najika waiting in the hallway. On the second floor, Bachi guides them to the room on the left side with a sliding door, which of course, her own bedroom. But there are still two additional rooms, one on the left side, and one on the right side. Using this information, the second floor would probably look like this. When we take a look once again at this design, her house looks really suffocating because there are not enough windows. We need to refer back to Bachi the Rock opening once again. From here, we can see that on the first floor, there is another door which leads to the garden. Since all house looks exactly the same, we know that on the first floor, there are two windows on the back and two windows on the right. After revising the first floor plan to include the exterior of her house, her house now appears roughly like this. On the second floor, her house had two windows on the front, two on the right, and two on the back. The window on the right is actually a window on the stair. The second floor also had a balcony. But from what we have seen, Bachi's room does not connect to the balcony. But instead, it connects to a closet where she records her guitar playing. After revising the second floor, her house would probably look like this. If we include the four rooms on the first floor, currently we have a total of six rooms to discover. Can you take a guess which room is which? In episode 1 of Bachi the Rock, there was a scene where Bachi went upstairs to get a guitar from a dark room. We'll just assume that this room is her parents' bedroom. But which room does it refer to? If we check the second floor layout and compare to the layout with it, we could not see the sliding door. Which means, this room must be the room beside Bachi's room. As a result, the room in front of Bachi's room is likely Futari's bedroom, given that Futari doesn't sleep together with Bachi. So, the second floor would most likely look like this. Moving on, after Bachi's parents met Kida and Najika, they were welcomed and invited for lunch in the living room. After a while, Bachi left the living room and we saw her coming out from the left room. Therefore, now we know that the left room is the living room. While the others were enjoying their food, we could see her father was cooking in the kitchen. If we remember from episode 2, the kitchen can be seen at the end of the hallway. So basically, the kitchen and the living room are connected all along. And now, we can revise the floor plan to look as currently is. Because there are still two rooms left, in episode 2, when Bachi was soaking in a cold bath, Futari was looking from outside and there was a sink located behind her. This sink is important because if we look at episode 3, after Bachi recovered, she was seen brushing her hair there. And she was doing it in the room with a sliding door, which means that room was a bathroom. What about the last room? Referring to episode 7, when Bachi left the living room, she went to that last room. Because we were not able to see what it looks like inside, I believe that it could be a toilet. After our deductions, the layout for the first floor would basically look like this. In the end, her house would probably look like this. Do you agree with this layout? Thank you all so much for joining me in this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more content like this. See you in the future episodes.